Welcome back, one and all, to Cultist Simulator. I am the Arcane Rogue. You're back just in time to experience the Theocene Way. The road ducks into the trees, pale wings move deep in the wood. I am stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. The moon passes behind the black leaves, through her fingers, though her fingers remain in my hair. I will not forget the way to this place. A buzzing in the brain. We'll investigate that shortly. Our passion, which is exhausted temporarily. And the way to the wood. But first we need to recover from this injury. Hmm. And I have no vitality right now. So. We'll go to the doctor. And hopefully that will not backfire. A buzzing in the brain. Ingirum imos nocte et. Consumi snip snip snip. How do you like that viewers? I uh. Never really thought about, you know, trying to pronounce Latin before. But hey, Rose is a slimess, but loyal. She has the edge aspect. All conquest occurs at the edge. One who dwells there is blind and cannot be wounded. Another is strong and grows stronger. The aspect of battle and struggle. Well... This mystique and this notoriety are going to give us an adversary, I think. We'll just set that buzzing in the brain aside. Oh. Good. Whew. We got lucky. Do something imprudent. Let's talk in public about things that should not be spoken of. We have our glimmering lesson learnt. There are more windows in the soul, but sunlight is not the thing that passes through a window. We can study more passion, try to get another glimmering, which would be useful. Need to put in more re reason. Hmm. Let's see here. We've the sick room grows close and stale. Time to get up. We're good. Let's. Dream of the wood. Hmm. So we can either employ passion to enter, or with the right lore, find the way to the white door. The white door. Well, our... So we will go into the wood. Now I pass between scar-barked trees. The moon passes behind branches, though her fingers remain in my hair. I am stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. Pale wings move deep in the night. Hmm. Yeah, we have our money.
Yes. Let's paint with those. And why not? We'll use this restlessness as our inspiration. Worst case is, we'll have to get our job back. Again. But at least if the restlessness is in here, it can't turn into dread. Which means it can't get sucked up by that. I could spend more money on better paints, or perhaps I could find more exotic pigments. Yeah, why not? Let's buy some fancy paints. Let's explore with this occult scrap. See if we could find something useful in the city. A patron. We can learn from each other. Hmm, yes. We have a glimmering. And more passion. Well, let's run the passion again. That way we can get another glimmering and... And then maybe we can upgrade our passion one more time. Ah! Why... It's the Mansus with the glory. The Worm Museum, the Peacock Door, the Tricuspid Gate, the Chamber of Ways, Spider Door, Maliary, the Well, the Temple of the Wheel, a peculiar rumor. Hmm... Do we want the peculiar rumor? Let's go to the trembling airs. Ah, vitality! In the wood beyond the walls of the Mansus, a jagged rock rears like the petrified remnants of a dancing giant. I trailed my hand along its, along its flank over the eye signs and lichen and the crude graffiti of the lesser wood powers, and I felt the thrumming of the wheel which has pa which has passed it has passed but something continues toast hap all is brisk and all is well the second order influence that's nice go over there i have no use for you at the moment uh let's go back um Let's try with that. Well, got some funds and our position did not get messed up. Awesome. Got some contentment out of that. That's good. Got some glimmering out of that. That's good, too. Uh, all right. Fleeting reminiscence. More contentment? Can I stack those? No. Let's uh, speed up time a little bit. Uh, Congregation of St. Felix of Shuren. That would be a place we could send our people out on a uh, expedition hmm. uh, we will you know what Rose go explore the city maybe you'll find something interesting uh, we've gotten some mystique and we've met someone the laconic, energetic, bright-eyed, unblinking owner of the Ecdysius Club. Hmm. More mystique. 
That certainly won't backfire on us. Uh, can we talk to her about the lore? Yes, why not? We'll try that. Okay, let's put two glimmerings in. Get another lesson learned. Let's go back to uh, normal time. Ah, an auction house. Curios, perfumes, taxidermy specimens, and rare texts. It operates from cramped new premises now since the destruction of the old bay by an old by an unexplained fire. Huh, we can buy and sell items. You know what, Rose? Go do that again. Okay. Yeah. That's not going to help. Oh, great. <sighs> the cleansing dawn. Oh no. Ah. Said club. Can we instead talk to her about her club? That would be a better. <laughs> Go do it again, Rose. You're good at finding things, I see. Fascination. Now I can slow off my fl sl slough off my flesh, patch by patch, tugging the tendons free like fibers picked from teeth. My skin lies like a shredded blanket. The sun heaves itself above the horizon with a triumphant battle yell. The light falls like acid on my naked bones. Pain will wake me and my bones will ache for days, but the sun's words are etched on my bones. Light leaks through the cracks. My mind is brighter than it ever was. The higher I rise, the more I see. Great. I'm seeing stuff. Hey, let's use that fleeting reminiscence and get rid of that insanity, shall we? An intensity of radiance. Okay. That's another influence. That one's a lantern. Oh, good. I apparently haven't done enough to draw too much negative attention to myself. Uh, a bomb maker. I don't think we need to hire anybody like that just yet. Got our money. <sighs> Perhaps if we can get rid of Mr. Alden, things will start to get better for us. You know what? Maybe that hireling can take care of that. There's a road you can walk that begins there in my house. If you want to talk about it, meet me there. Well, we're already walking a different road. So, she could be a patron. She could teach us Sanskrit. That might be useful. All right, let's increase that passion. Let's 
Let's see if we can meet anybody interesting. Oh, good. Oof. Creepy. Let's enter the wood once more. Maybe we can find something more useful. Okay. We have business with that bomb maker. Might be able to get rid of that, uh, person. No. Uh, that has an entry fee. And we don't have any money right now. Well, we have money, but... I would feel more comfortable with more money. And also with, you know, not having to deal with that fool, Alden. We'll take care of that, I think. More passion. We now have a wild imagination. Been known to break six pencils in a day. Three lessons learnt to improve that now. Let's see. But I'll need to pay in Spinitre, the currency of the hidden world. Well, that's not going to do me any good. I don't have any. All right. Well. Can I work? No. What can I do with her? I don't know. An acquaintance. Okay. Fleeting reminiscence. No, we don't want to do that just yet. Nope. Here you go. Buzzing in the brain, or do we go with the hidden... Let's try the well. A furtive truth. The velvet is strong in the at the well in the wood, and the velvet is the hour that keeps secrets. But now and then she lets a little secret fall, like a crumb at a feast. Last night I found a moss-clad rock written all around with secrets of another history. I might give thanks to the velvet, but it would be wiser not to draw her attention. Don't speak this where you may be overheard. Okay. Okay. Oh, great. There's more fascination. Where'd that come from? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can deal with that. Yes. Yes. How long do I have that hireling? 60 seconds. Mm. More restlessness. Hopefully this acquaintance doesn't take very long. No... fast forward a little bit ah Balcian 
Operated her establishment for almost 20 years. She has never employed an assistant. Her hands are terribly strong. Interesting. Well, let's... Okay. Let's talk with... Oh no, my hireling disappeared. Shoot. Okay, Rose, get out there. Oh no, he's right there. Let's talk with you. Oh, really? All right. What is this? Another hireling? Uh, yeah, because if uh, this bomb maker can't do it, then the professional muscle will. Start dreaming. Uh They gave me a another demotion. Garg. All right. Well, we'll use the professional muscle then. Wait a bit. Yeah, we'll take the occult scrap. Another hireling, huh? A hulking fellow? No, thank you. Okay. Now I work for Mr. Ald Alden again. Please deal. I'm out of patience with this nuisance. There should be an end to the matter. But they could possibly survive and the attempt will draw attention. Fortunately, I'm using a hireling, so... Perhaps that won't be an issue. Hmm. We'll use this furtive truth. Great. Uh... I believe if I study my health, I will get a vitality that I can use to deal with this affliction. Okay. Rose is useless at this point. So, but I think this video has gone on quite long enough. We'll wait and see how the companion does with ending our annoyance. We'll not be spending any funds this time. 
I see the mistakes, but I can also see the end. Some insight. This is something special. It may provoke a reaction. My minion has returned with a trophy. The annoyance has been extirpated. Extirpated. The man called Alden is gone. I may find matters easier when I return to work. I've got some notoriety there. That's nice. Ah, yes. Thank you, Dread. Nice to see you. We have a human corpse. The spirit is departed. At some point, the smell will be so bad you'll have to dispose of it. But here it is for now. It may attract attention. It may even be used to impress the impressionable. Even after the corpse is gone, notoriety will remain. And the professional muscle. So can we talk to the professional muscle about disposing of the corpse? Apparently not. I see. Well, you could just sit over there and become notoriety then. My recent work is considered notable. I've exhibited the latest paintings publicly. Surely someone will buy something. We'll just take that mystique and this mystique and this mystique and this mystique. And this mystique, I think I have erred. <laughs> Glimmering, some more notoriety. And this mystique, that's a lot of mystique. For one coin. Let's go to work. The office crackles with the news of Alden's unexpected absence. A scrawny, nervous fellow from the fourth floor has been appointed supervisor of records. Temporary. Unlike Alden, he does not interfere with my work. Great. Ah, so we have started to weave quite the tangled web, haven't we? Join me next time as we continue down the path of the Aspirant. I've been the Arcane Rogue, your faithful narrator to the story of Ethan Gold. Good luck in your explorations of the Mansus.